It doesn't mean that our technology that come out uh, now today will fit perfectly on your uh, platform or your service. Um, it may not be the best one to serve your users. By running the big platform, we actually know our users quite well. We will surely think of the users as a top priority and we will only bring the technology or if we have to develop the technology by ourselves to make the user happy. Thailand, we always emphasize on the importance of Thai SMEs and Thai entrepreneurs because we believe that they are an integral part to drive the growth of Thai economy. And therefore, we believe that it's very important to work closely with them, not only you know, from the government bodies, but from every parties that can relate to them, to help support them to grow further, because it's very important to make them grow so that we can sustain the growth of Thai economy. And as see when we talk about the strategy we use, I think um, we always come back to the core questions. When we want to develop um, the new product or the new service, we always ask, what is their needs? So what is the Thai SMEs, other sellers, what do they need? And once we can define the needs that they want, then we come back and we find a way to address it through our platform. I think in the past 10 years that we have been in, in Thailand, if I have to bucket what we do to serve uh, Thai SMEs, I probably want to put it into uh, three E's. The first one is enlargement, the second one is enablement, and the third one is empowerment. Um, to start with the first one, enlargement. I think when we talk about the needs of the sellers, I think the very first one that come up is how to sell more, uh, with the less cost, right? At Shopee, what we try to do is we try to enlarge the market. How can the sellers sell more things? How can they reach to more buyers without having to incur any significant uh, fixed costs? So with the Shopee platform, it's the borderless e-commerce platform and therefore it means that the seller can expand fast with the minimal effort and at the reasonable cost. Now they can sell anywhere at any time. And I think that's how we address the first need, enlarge the market. Now the market is big enough, right? They can sell more. The next need would be how to sell, right? How can they know how to sell? So that's the second E that come in, the enablement. Actually, C and Shopee in particular, we try to equip the Thai users, um, those users who use our platform with the digital skills, knowledge and know-how. Um, through our, you know, we have many courses that we offer for them through Shopee University and C Academy so that they can leverage our platform more utilize and effectively sell their product. So that's the second um, E, enablement, so they can sell more. Now the market is large enough, they know how to sell. But as we all know, right, it's undeniable that all the Thai sellers has to face one big challenge, which is a financial situation. When they want to expand or they, when they want to grow their business, they need the capital. And we have to admit that at the moment, it may not be that easy for them to access the, the source of fund. That is the third E that we want to come in. We want to help uh, empower them with the financial solution so that the sellers can um, easily access to the cash loan. Um, it's very quick to get the capital they need so that they can grow the business faster to meet that goal. So these are the three E's that we're working on to help with the SME in Thailand. We try to enlarge the market size, we try to enable the sellers, and we try to empower them to be able to sell more. And we will surely continue to develop uh, the new product and service to help the growth of Thai SMEs. to break this into two portions, the people and the process, because the two are very important to make the culture of innovation success. The first one, the people. I think it's undeniable that people are the key success factors of everything we want to do in any project or any product. Building or creating the, the culture is the same thing. The people uh, in the organization have to believe and, and trust that the innovation is important. And in order to make it success, definitely we have to start from the top. The top management, the C-level, they have to believe in this. 
so that the innovation can foster and, and going down through the organization. In order to make people believe in that, uh, I think there are three steps to that. The first one is uh, we need to trust. It's like for me, if I recruit someone to work in my team, that also means I trust them, right? And when you trust them, you need to let them be open and share their ideas. It can be, you know, as crazy as they want so that the discussion can be more uh, fruitful in a sense. And at the same time, as the leader or team lead, they need to be open-minded too uh, so that they get to hear the new idea. And once you trust them, you get to talk to them about that uh, innovative idea, their new creative idea, then you discuss and you want to make that idea, um, execute the idea. The second step comes in, you need to empower them. You need to provide a stage for them to perform. That means getting that idea into action and let them you know, play with it. Uh, definitely now you're not become the manager anymore, you're not their, their leaders, you become their coach. But then they have some free, you know, some freedom that they can play and, and make sure that you know, they get that idea into action. You need to make them feel that they own the piece. You did, they need to have that ownership. So they need to make some key decision, of course with your guidance, but they need to make decisions so that they, they feel that they own it. With that, I believe that the innovation can happen. Having said that, of course, there will be, you know, successful ideas, right? But when it comes to some idea that might not be that successful, there could be some failures. What would we do with that? So that's the second portion I talk about, the process, the system that has to come in place. Assuming that if the company still value, uh, you know, uh, access people from their performance and from the result alone, then definitely people will be quite fearful, right, to, to think of new idea or new inno innovation because they could fail and we not reward the failure. So actually, actually when we reward someone, we're not only looking at the result of the project that they're working on, but we also look at the effort that they put in. Saying someone can work on some project for six months and eventually the project might not launch or might not be that successful. But if we look at the effort and you know the idea that they put in, the time that we put in, and we try to understand what is the factor that make the project not successful. It might not be from the people, but it might come from external factors that have some, you know, some role on making that project not super successful. So we need to think through of that. And I believe that the two portion I talk about, the people and the process. If you have these two right, then you can you know, create a culture of innovation. SC Thailand, we always value technology as it is a very important and big part of you know, all the service and product that we offer. So it's very um, necessary for us to keep monitoring, keep learning, what is the new technology you know, in the world, and uh, what's related to us, and how other competitors or how, how other industries are using it. So we spend a lot of time and effort uh, investing uh, to understand each uh, technology that come up, each trend that come up. But I think what's more important than like knowing what's going on, the new technology that's coming into the world, uh, what's more important is to know what is right for you and at the right time too. It doesn't mean that our technology that come out uh, now today will fit perfectly on your uh, platform or your service. Um, it may not be the best one to serve your users. Once we know what technology is available, we also see how to bring what technology to use on our platform that will serve the best to the users. Um, there is a lot of technologies that we actually you know, spend and, 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 and bring it and use on our platform. But I have to say that like, by running the big platform, we actually know our users quite well. And unfortunately, some of the technology available in the market might not be the best fit it may not be the best to serve users 100%. And that means, you know, some of the technologies we have to kind of like work on that by ourselves. For example, um, if we talk about Shopee, uh, the search engine. Um, how can we make people happy? Meaning that when they search for something, whatever that pop up is actually related to what they really want to look for. And Thai language is very tricky in a sense, right? You want to search for the word, um, for kapao, the back, right? If you mistype it a little bit, how can we still make the back pop up, even though they're misspelling a little bit? And the second part is, how can we make sure that 
the bag that pop up is actually related to you or related to the person who searched it. If it's a guy, if it's a girl, if it's, you know, what age of the, the user that actually searching for that bag, what type of bag that we think is the more related to them. And that is something that the complete solution technology that's already available in the market might be able to answer that. So we need to develop that by ourselves. So yes, we technology will always play integral part and we will definitely looking for the new technology, new trend, things like that but uh, we will surely think of the users as a top priority and we will only bring the technology or if we have to develop the technology by ourselves to make the user happy. Our plan in the near future I think it's always the same thing. We want to serve the best to our Thai users. And that means we will have to continue to define their needs. As we all know, the needs of people can change all the time. So whatever we serve them today might not be enough for tomorrow. And it means that we need to work closely with our users to understand what their needs. In all the three business that we're working on, whether Garina, Shopee or Simani, we will always develop the new product, the new service to serve the needs of the users. Because we are Thai citizens and we, we plan to be here in Thailand for long, uh, it's also very important to, for us to be a part of you know, the force that can help Thai community being better. Our sustainability um, strategy so far focus mainly on uh, digital skills and talent development because we think that is our core, our expertise. We can leverage on our platform, our know-how, and try to use that to educate or equip Thai users or Thai citizens with the digital skills because we believe that in order to make Thailand to become a digital nation, in order to make this uh, become success. So this is the thing that Sea Thailand plan to do to contribute to the country now and in the near future.